Today's walk starts in the village of Brent Knoll in Somerset. Most famous for the hill Brent Knoll, which you can see over my right shoulder there, I think. I'm walking towards Burnham on Sea, the seaside town. I'm going to join the beach for a bit. This is a chance for me to experiment with using my camera as a my, my smartphone as a camera, which I've not done before. I'm thinking ahead towards doing the South Downs Way at the end of May, a month from now. And um, I'm wondering about my option because I can't afford to buy a new GoPro right now, which was my long-term plan. But um, my other camera is okay, but it's not it's not quite ideal for doing video vlogging like this really. With my smartphone I can use the microphone, I can plug it in, do it this way, and I can also change the SD cards to keep the memory going. So yeah, it's going to be a fairly straightforward walk, about 12 miles long. Let's kind of see what the camera is like. I have a very minor claim to fame with that lighthouse back there. Probably three, maybe four years ago, I took a photo of it and posted it on Twitter. It was retweeted by a guy called, I think it's Will Hardy. He's apparently a famous, well-known carpenter in the UK. He used to be on a TV show with a Geordie guy, I think his name's George Gavin, on a programme called The Restoration Man, I think. I don't watch much TV, so I don't really know about it, but my friend Anna saw it and went, oh my God, Will Hardy retweeted your tweet. And I thought, who's Will Hardy? But um, yeah, didn't know who he was and didn't know how he found him. I 
going north now towards Breen and between the southern end of Burnham and the northern end of Breen, where Breen Down is, this beach is around seven miles long and as I remember that's the second longest stretch of uninterrupted sand in the entire world. And just thinking about that is quite something because we were a very small island and you've got places like Brazil and Australia where the beaches are quite renowned but um, it's quite a fascinating place to be because also here you have the Seven Estuary and the tidal rise here is the second highest tidal rise in the entire world again. When the tide here is out, the remains of this Norwegian vessel will be coming to view. I believe it's date back to the early 20th century, it's been there ever since. I've never ventured out that far because of all the risk of the mud and the sinking sand in this area, but um, it's quite rare to see it. in the caravan park now we can see the line of the Mendip Hills with the West Mendip Way following the ridge and I'm now walking back towards Brent's Knoll which is that hill there. <laughs> 